I hope you enjoyed that little opening scene cut to this video. Don't worry about it. I will have, you know, 14 or so more minutes of that in this video. So stay tuned for that. Don't just skip ahead because I really want to talk about this saber. So this video is actually about my new saber or actually my saber. It's an old saber that was finally installed. This is my 89 Sabres Fallen V2 sold by Corbett. So this saber has been on quite the journey. Uh, and especially for two guys watching right now, then you know what that journey is, especially one of them. So this saber went from 89 sabers to Corbath. So that's one. 89 sabers to Corbath. Corbath to the original owner. From the original owner to me. From me to Benji of Nerf Herder Customs for weathering. From Benji to Jeremy Puckett of Solo Sabers for the install. From Jeremy to me. From me to Jeremy, Jeremy to me again. So this saber has been shipped at least eight times. Maybe more before that, but I think at least eight times this saber has been in the mail. So this saber has been on quite the journey to be here today and to actually be, you know, demoed in a video. So this is the 89 Sabres Fallen V2. It's installed with a Profi 2.2 soundboard and NeoPixel. You can see in there, inside that white portion, you see those little white rectangle looking things and those little gold pieces right there? Those are the pogo pins. And those little white rectangle looking things, those are CC Sabres LED pixels uh, on the PCB. Uh, Carl Chin is the one who does this, Carl Chin CC Sabres. So what that does is, you know, if you have a hollow blade plug like this one, this is one that Benji of Nerf Herder Customs made, the Razor style. All you got to do is put that in here. And for NeoPixel Sabres, usually you need something that's coming in contact with the pogo pins for it actually to light up. So, for example, my Sabre Trio, it has to have something in contact with the pogo pins in order to light up. And especially, it has to be like a NeoPixel PCB to actually work. But for this, you just put this in there, turn on the Sabre, and you can see the light shine through on the blade plug. So, I really like that. I know that Jeremy... Uh, usually does that in a lot of uh, a lot of installs, either the CC Sabres ones, and he used to do the stock ones, but now he does a lot of CC Sabres ones. But this is like a really cool addition, so that's kind of what it looks like if I had the blade plug. And 89 Sabres and Corbanth, they include this blade plug here, very basic blade plug. It's not a whole lot of shine through because this whole part right here is covered. I don't know if that's aluminum or something, but I like this one that Benji did, though, so I usually keep this one in there. So this saber like I mentioned, has been on quite the journey. I originally sent it to Benji of Nerf Herder Customs. This is what it looks like now. And I'm going to show you a before and after. So this picture is before. This is what it looks like. You know, this is the picture that Corbanth has on their website. But this is the picture that I was sent by the person that I bought it from. I bought it secondhand. And this is the picture that I took of it. And then this is, you know, what Benji sent me after he finished weathering. It looks absolutely amazing. And, you know, this is, I mean, just look at it. I mean, you can see all the little tiny details inside these sections here, inside the greeblies, on the emitters. I mean, Benji, both Benji and Jeremy have done videos on it, but I just, I need to make a video on it. Come on now. Look at the pommel damage. I mean, come on, man. I can't help but smile every time I see this saber because I know how much love and care has been put into this saber by both Jeremy and by Benji. I mean, this saber looks so cool. It is a huge saber, by the way. I mean, this saber is, it's a two-handed saber. There's no doubt about it. This is, this is the biggest saber I have by far. It's insane. So the only modifications that I made to this saber, you know, Jeremy and Benji, they both did their modifications to it. The only modifications that I did to it was that these little greeblies here, this one and this one, if you have a Fallen V2, then you know this. These are pretty sharp. So I just took a Dremel that had like a 240 grit sanding uh, head and then I just kind of Dremeled it down a little bit. Not enough to where, you know, it strips away a whole, a whole bunch of metal, but, you know, just to where it's not sharp. So when I swing it around, it's not cutting my hands. When I first swung this around, it was cutting my hands, but, you know, I fixed that and that's no big deal. So the way that Jeremy installed this is actually really smart. He did the install. You can unscrew it here in the halfway point. And it does have a removable battery system, which is really, really sick. I love those. I much rather a removable battery system than a recharge port because recharge ports 
can fail. And if a recharge port fails, then your Sabre doesn't work. If the removable battery system fails, it's a lot easier to fix. So there's a removable battery system. You see that big spring right there. And Jeremy says it every time in his videos, don't put your battery in backwards. And, you know, if you don't know what a backwards battery looks like, usually what I recommend is getting like a keep power 3120 milliamp button top protected 18650 battery. So this is like a Sabre Trio one. It's like the same kind. But you see that button top? It's kind of hard to see. That little silver piece. It's a little raised up button top. And then there's a flat part. The flat part goes towards the spring. If you put it in backwards, it'll fry your soundboard. Jeremy says that every time in his videos, but you know, I felt the need to reiterate it. So, you know, you put the you put the battery in there, it'll make the boot sound. And Jeremy did something really cool with this. He put a 28 millimeter smuggler's outpost bass speaker in here, which is like super gnarly. It is so so good sounding. And he also added this right here, which is a little pixel LED. So when you have this saber on and it's powered on, there's some shine through here. So it's kind of like a faux crystal chamber. And it's actually really cool. I mean, Jeremy did a really cool circuitry, circuit board effect on the pixel for the saber. So when it's turned on, so it looks really, really cool. And you'll be able to see it in the video when I turn on the blade and all that kind of stuff later in the video. I just want y'all to stick around and, and listen to what I got to say. I don't want y'all to just skip ahead. So before I go any further, whatever you do, whatever you take from this video, take this. Go subscribe to Benji at Nerf Herder Customs. Go subscribe to Jeremy at Solo Sabres LLC. I'll link both of them down in the description below. They both did amazing work on this saber. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, this is by far my favorite saber right now. I have other sabers that I'm going to be sending to Jeremy to get installed, so that may change in the future. But this is my favorite saber right now. So much detail has been added to this saber. I mean, there was detail already, but I mean, just look at that. <laughs> I know Jeremy and uh, Benji are both nervously and anxiously waiting for this video. And uh, I mean, both of y'all, thank y'all so much. I mean, this, this thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, every single day when I sit down at my desk, what I typically do is I have this Sabre sitting on this, which is the Sabre Trio workbench. I typically always have it sitting on this because this is inspired by Fallen Order and this is a Fallen Order hilt. So, you know, always have it sitting on there. And every time I see this sitting on my desk, I got to pick this up, you know, twirl it around, do all that kind of stuff because it's so fun to play with. And I love it. It feels really good. I mean, this thing feels totally solid. You know, there's nothing, nothing shaking around in there. You can't hear anything. I mean, this isn't, this is no loose install. This is really high quality stuff. So I know I've recommended Jeremy and Benji in the past, but I mean, as y'all can see, in the video that it's going to be towards the end of this video of me demoing all the fonts and stuff and y'all saw in the first part of the video i mean this is really high quality stuff and they are two of the best installers jeremy does you know profi and cfx like golden harvest and stuff benji really specializes in crystal focus 10 and golden harvest he doesn't really do profi as of right now but he may do it in the future but he, for cfx he's your guy jeremy does an incredible job with these installs i mean go subscribe to benji and jeremy Jeremy's uh, install videos are incredible because he goes over everything. And I mean, even if you're not the person who he installed the Sabre for, it's really interesting to see his takes on, you know, these solutions of, you know, how he did a chassis for this kind of Sabre, how he did a switch solution for this kind of Sabre, how he crammed a speaker, a massive speaker into that kind of Sabre, all that stuff. It's actually really incredible to watch. It's really fun to, you know, learn these sorts of things. And uh, Jeremy has like so much knowledge on this stuff. Not to mention he's a beast. I mean, he's cranked out like 300 installs since last February. Like February of 2020, he's cranked out like 300 installs. That's insane. I mean, he's one guy doing all of that. And, you know, that may not sound like a lot to, you know, a Sabre company, but for one person to do all of that is incredible. I mean, that's insane. So absolutely go subscribe to Benji at Nerfer Customs. Go subscribe to Jeremy at Solo Sabres LLC. I'll link both of them down in the description below. Tell them Lando sent you. And to Jeremy, to Benji, thank you both so much. I mean, this is a labor of love. This saber has gone through so much. And I mean, just look at it. I love it. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much. And everybody, enjoy the rest of this video where I'll be just, you know, demoing the sound fonts that Jeremy threw on there for me that I bought from, you know, Kyberphonic and K-Sith and all those kind of guys. So thank you and may the force be with you.
See. 